The seventh doctor's journey came to an end on the streets of San Francisco, but after some ill-advised, dodgy double open-heart surgery, the eighth doctor materialised. Paul McGann's doctor, I think, uh, created a wonderful, intriguing mystique. That, that sense of when a doctor's freshly regenerated and uh, early hours of behaviour is very erratic, very confused. He spends the first ten minutes going, who am I? And that was an opportunity, of course, to find the costume. I said, OK, I'll put that on, but I don't want to wear the scarf. He was elegant. He, well, he, look, he looked Baron-esque. But a, a great alien quality as well. A meteor storm that the sky above us was dancing with lights. Purple, green, brilliant, yellow, yes! I think he was quite sweet. A sweet doctor. These shoes! They fit perfect. Like the fourth doctor before him, the eighth had a love for jelly babies. And with his sugar levels shooting through the roof, the ladies certainly saw him as a bit of eye candy. Uh, Paul McGann is the first, but not the last, God knows, of the romantic doctors. He's a dashing, uh, you know, great looking guy. In a way, one of the first sex symbols and the women kind of went, whoa, this doctor is absolutely gorgeous. Yes, this space travelling stud was going to take us to a place we'd never <laughs> been before. <laughs> Quite radical at the time, uh, but my goodness, they've all, they've all been at it ever since. Are you any good at setting alarm clocks? But not everyone was impressed by the doctor's newfound sexual appetite. It turned it a bit soapy. Soppy and soapy. Grace says that you have a big secret. I had no conception at all this chaste kiss was going to cause any bother. He's an alien. So what's he messing about with human women for, for heaven's sake? But of course, um, nor did we realise that we, in, a, in a little way we might be um, pioneers. You know, Doctor Who had been very successful for nearly 30 years without a canoodle anywhere. Because now I think, I think everybody has a kiss, don't they? There's always a snob in Doctor Who, isn't it? Isn't it? We got there first. Groundbreaking smooch aside, he was still the Doctor. And wherever the Doctor may be, trouble is never far behind. Once the regeneration has happened, and then realises that the Master is also there, he has to save the day. Planning to take my body so that he will live and I will die. But will he make it? We don't know. The, the clock is ticking. And to make things worse, it's New Year's Eve. Champagne? Oh. Race. Oh. It's a race against time. Literally. Midnight's gonna mean the end of everything. And got him where he wants him. He keeps him trapped at one point. Uh, tortures him. It's the perils of the doctor and becomes a fantastic hero who uh, saves the universe yet again. And with the master sent packing, it was time for the Doctor to get on his way and for us to join him on an incredible journey. Oh no, that was it. The Eighth Doctor just about made it into the pantheon of Doctors. You know what they call me? The longest and the shortest. I was the Doctor for the longest, just by default. But I wear the name of pride. The eighth doctor's struggle with the master was just one of...